Hello, this is John Kenalopoulos, Clinical Professional of Ophthalmology at NYU Medical School in New York and Medical Director of the Laser Vision Institute in Athens, Greece. Some very exciting cornea work. This is the CuraClear XT, uh, the first clinical application ever of this in lake keratoprosthesis. You'll see here the donor cornea and a catena single-use artificial chamber. We use the FS200 Wavelight Alcon Femtosecond Laser. You see the settings here. We're going to try and just do a pocket 8 millimeter diameter at 400 microns depth. These are the femtosecond laser settings. The chimney, the opening to vent the lamellar separation is 3.5 millimeters in width. You see it being created here with the cornea applinated. And now the lamellar separation with this uh, excellent and extremely fast femtosecond laser. I will go in with a blunt small cycle dialysis spatula to uh, make sure that the space at 400 microns depth is created. It's very good, it's patent. We we'll use Vibex Extra, 0.25% riboflavin, seen here with an olive tip cannula instilled within the pocket and not the surface of the cornea. I want to underline that. And then very high fluence cross linking, uh, 7.2 joules. This is a higher concentration of riboflavin, 0.25% versus 0.1%, which is a classic resin purple benefit. And in essence, what we're trying to do here is have UV light go through the translucent cornea that is not soaked with riboflavin, reach the pocket, which now has diffused riboflavin over and under it. Remember, the pocket is at 400 microns, and try and get across the Following this first session of deep collagen cross-linking, I'm scraping the surface of the donor cornea, removing the epithelium, and again, 10 minutes of Vibex Extra, 0.25% riboflavin by Avidro, and then a very high fluent session, the second one for this cornea, 7.2 joules, and now uh, again applinating this cornea and taking out a 3.8 millimeter lenticule at 400 microns depth. Again, with the FS200 wavelet femtosecond laser. We saw the applanation before, and now we we'll see the uh, trephination of this 3.8 millimeter lenticule. Remember, the prosthesis is 4 millimeters in diameter, but we want the optical head of the prosthesis to fit snug within these, this uh, trephination. Here, you see how easily the lenticule is being removed. Also, surgical planes here. And uh, we'll switch microscopes. We're working now on the EX500 microscope. So you can see uh, the keratoprosthesis being implanted through the cornea opening and using a blunt spatula to stretch out the haptics uh, with 12 uh, fenestrations. This is new in this uh, newer model keratoprosthesis that had just come out. First surgery, as I mentioned, here in Athens, October 22nd, 2013. And as I will show you, a very severe patient, which we glued a week ago for cornea perforation. Um, she has significant anterior segment disease. Here you're seeing the vehicle donor cornea with the keratoprosthesis that we've worked on before. And uh, we will tree fine 9.5 millimeters on the donor, donor cornea and prosthesis together. See it here, tree fine. And now freehand trephinations with nine millimeters tree fine on the patient's cornea, prebovar block, entering here a cornea incision. The uh, neovascularization of the host cornea uh, is making our field quite bloody. Uh, we'll fill with methocellulose and then using the uh, uh, curved cornea scissors, complete the uh, host uh, diseased cornea trephination. Again, we're removing nine millimeters also removing here decivitz membrane which had detached from the cornea and was attached on the iris the patient's pseudophagic as you can see a little corectopia and now suturing in a normal uh, pk fashion the combination of the uh, host vehicle cornea uh, that includes the keratoprosthesis as a donor now the complex is a donor to the host uh, cornea that we removed you can see uh, almost full thickness sutures on the uh, donor and almost full thickness on the recipient. Very important to reapproximate the lips of uh, the uh, transplant. And here, transplant and prosthesis together. And immediately on corneal CT, you can see the fabulous fit of the prosthesis on the donor vehicle cornea.
Very exciting surgery. I want to thank you for your attention. Please visit our website, www.brilliantvision.com, for more details about this fascinating surgery. This is John Kenlopas.